Hello. Why are you here? We are back once again with more Bannerlord. Part 16. Hey, are you tired of it yet? I kind of am. Um, uh, last episode, we actually finally managed to hit Tier 4. Thank God. Uh, so we're eligible to make a kingdom provided we get land. Now, uh, don't know where we're settling off first. Uh, by now you should know I like being in the north, so somewhere in here we'll capture a castle. And we'll go from there. But, due to just the fact we got where we are, um, this episode's most likely, or this part, is most likely going to be just domestics. Because we got our younger sister here, and we want her to be good at the whole steward thing, and we're going to get her smithing up, and all that great stuff. And so, I have a feeling what's going to end up happening is we're going to spend a significant amount of time in the south here, just to do blacksmithing and all the economic stuff. This is going to be a very slow episode. Um... Not that all of them are action-packed, but this one especially um, is just going to be straight-up domestic stuff. So we're going to get right into that right from the gate and uh, just work on that. Like, okay, so like they have tons of mules here and stuff like that. And it's not much better. Uh, so, like, we're going to be doing trading and stuff because those are skills we've been neglecting to a degree. And it wouldn't hurt for us to just knock those out. So, I'm not going to do anything too extreme with this first go around. It's mostly just to get my sister, like, up and running. They have a lot of tribes on. So, yeah, this is, this is, this is going to be a thing. Okay, none of, we, she has stamina, but nobody else does. So we're going to just work with her first and try to make a few things, at least one or two. Uh, we're still, yeah, so this is our only tier five. So we should have, yes, this works just fine for her. This gun, just, she's gonna jump, levels wise. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go, just all the way up. Wingo, there you go. Now she can make a uh, charcoal, just, just, just like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're just gonna wait for everyone to get their stamina back, and then we're gonna buy a bunch of stuff. Four levels in steward, excellent. And she'll catch up to us very soon. I think we have like two hundred something. 230. It would be cool to get hurt about 150. He's like, yeah, so he's like 150. If we can get her to match him, that'd be just fine. Which shouldn't be too hard, considering. Uh, I kind of want everyone to have max stamina, so we're going to wait a little longer. It's fine. Like I, this, this gonna be a slow episode. This is uh, primarily gonna be a smithing episode, and uh, you don't like that too bad. <laughs> it just gives me time to, to to ramble on about dumb stuff that may or may not have to do with the game. Let's see here. Now we're gonna just dump these off there from the gate. Uh. How slow would that make be? Very slow, but we're just going to grab all of them. Just because we're going to trade them all off. And us being slow doesn't really hurt, because we're not fighting any war at the moment, so who cares? And pick all those up, pick all those up. I have a lot of tribesmen. Is there anything else we're grabbing? Eh, I don't want to grab the ranged arrows. I think we're good there. 
Let's see if they have anything small. No, they don't. Uh, what I want to do is grab these wooden hammers. Because <laughs> that's going to give us hardwood. Yeah, we're really going to just be melting things down just for that. Uh, food stocks. I think everything is good, but okay, beer and dates need work. So we'll get to that. And that should be everything. You know, tribes and the arrows and the javelins, these are just to level up troops. And tribes are obviously. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, speaking of troops, we'll just do that now because we can. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> they shouldn't take a whole lot. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Just get the boys where they need to be. Good thing we fight Imperials locks. We just have horses like that. And... Come on, where are we at? I should just dump everything just to get the number from the gate, but... Oh well. You can deal. You're not watching the screen anyway. Okay. And just dump them all. Dump them all. That's a lot of experience needed, okay. Almost 3, 30,000 from the gate. But hey, then they're all just... They're catapacts and they're done. And I think that's all the um, horsemen that we're going to need. There we go. Okay. There we are. Yes. Excellent. One second. Okay, we're fine. Don't, ignore that. Now, Smithy. I kind of want to just throw swords at her. So she's. I don't want her to do a lot of the refining. We're going to have you melt down as much as you can. And... You, if I recall correctly, were good at the whole refining process. Yeah, it takes very little stamina. Excellent. We actually unlocked something. That's nice. I enjoy that. Yeah, she's not great at that. She should be good at refining. She is okay at refining. Not great. Now. We will do this. Last thing that we made. She leveled up. I'm going to just plop, put that in right now, just because we're going to be able to put that in the smithing. Yeah, there we go. We just want her to level as quickly as she possibly can. So taking half the second to, to put the, perk po uh, the focus point in, that's ideal. Yes. Uh, that's just the forward steel, but... We'll go ahead and throw that in now. Just so the game doesn't auto-allocate it to something stupid. I kind of want that. Because having another person... Because we're going to be refining a bunch of things anyway. So unlocking things as we go will most certainly help. Now. So we got four. We spent like 200,000. Let's, let's sell off what we got right now. Okay, so we need to make three more. And we're, we're, we're fine on that. Let's see, two-hander, same thing we've been making. Excellent. Long pine shaft. Well, hey, you know, hey, pull arm parts or pull arm parts. Let's sell those. It's going to be a slow episode. You can fucking deal. It's fine. 
it's fine. If, if you're at this part and you didn't just start by clicking here for some reason, you, you already know. You know the deal. You understand who I am. Do I want to do stuff with my sister as far as equipment is concerned? I don't know. Oh, right! She starts with stuff. I totally forgot about that. Let's get her a bow. She can't use any of these. <laughs> she can't use a single one. Uh, okay, then. Um, these are like the best javelins in the game. We're not going to worry about that. Um, they all have the same stack. They all kind of do the same damage. We'll get her a harpoon. She is cavalry, so let's give her a spear. Uh, who's another cavalryman I have? It's you, is it not? Reinforced Highland Spear? Right, that can do, like, everything. I want a... Pulse or... Ooh. I want something that can be couched. That's long, preferably. We'll make her one, how about that? We'll just make her a spear. Yeah. We need to soak up money from them, so what are we doing with that? Um Do they we can grab the Sumter horses, but that's not enough. Huh. How are we doing this? How are we making up the seven thousand that we have to? We could just do that. Let's grab this, why not? And melt it down. Yeah, that works. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Then just make two more of those swords, and then, or as many of these swords as we can, which I think it is going to be the two. Yeah. Melt these down, and we're going to move on. Just going to move to the next place, and uh, go ahead and sit there for however long to get stamina back. I'm so excited to finally be tier four. It's over. the The long grind is a well. The long grind to mid game is now over. Thank God. And we are so, so slow because we have the um, mules in our inventory, but it's fine. The longer we take to get to places, the the more opportunity little sister has to get steward levels. She's still getting like four at a time, so that's perfect. Ah, oh, boy. This game has been such a pain to uh, record and edit and all that stuff, but hey. I, I said from the gate it was a mistake. I'm aware of that. Kenshi should be a lot of fun. I have no idea what to do after Kenshi. Honestly. Like, after this, yes, I want to do Kenshi. Or during this, I'm, uh, we'll, we'll throw Kenshi up on, on the channel as well. I have no idea what to do after that. I was thinking something maybe like... Maybe RimWorld or something. Because it's kind of in the same vein of just a slow-paced game, to a degree. But I have my issues with RimWorld. What would probably be funnier, honestly, would be Amazing Cultivation Simulator. Because essentially that's just RimWorld, but like, uh, Wulin Sword Fantasy style uh, RimWorld. And, I mean, RimWorld's just Dwarf Fortress, so that, it, the same kind of game. There's That reminds me, there's another one, um made by indie developers it is uh called noble fates and when it first was like put on steam i saw it and i was like huh that's kind of interesting my girlfriend actually got it for me for christmas and i start playing it and it had promise but there were just so many like small little issues that were pissing me off and like it's made by a small team so i'm not sitting there like oh this should be better and, and it is, like, brand spanking new. 
And like it, like it was discussed. Like it popped up on Steam, and then three months later, it was like on early access. You know what I mean? So they definitely still have the 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 um, it's early access thing going for them, and I'll actually tolerate it. Like this game, they say it's early access. This has been like development for so long; it's not even funny. But like that is actually small team early access makes more sense. The they update it fairly regularly and actually work on things. It was like one of the very few times on Steam where there was like a suggestions thing or whatever that I actually felt like I'm actually going to say something. Normally I don't. Normally I I just I I I'm not very engaging on um social media. I hate social media and I I'm not a big forums guy. I have to really care to 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 even post something. So if you ever see me like posting on a comment on a video on YouTube or whatever, you know I actually there's I have to care. I have to, to be really invested into doing it. And so I actually like point out I was like I like this and I like that, but these this I was like this is my list of grievances. It, it it wasn't that harsh, but it was something along those lines. And within like an hour, I actually got a reply from the devs or a dev or what have you <laughs> and they actually like responded to a degree and i was like okay so that to me that shows gives me that like even though that i have my issues with the game that shows me that the game actually has promise because they care you know what i mean like they are actually trying to actively make things better that means way more to me then, hey, we'll get to it eventually. We heard, we heard, like, a, you know, a blanket statement kind of thing. But, like, when it was actually a direct, let me, let me respond to this person in particular, that is usually, like, the sign that's like, okay, they care. That or they have a really good PR team. One or the other. But with it being in a little group, I, the PR team, eh, I don't know about that one. Anyway, uh, back to this game. Okay, yeah, so we could probably sell the mules here for a fair bit. Yes, we can. We're going to only sell so many, but we're going to at least go till the point there's 60. Where are we? Come on, a little bit more. There. And this is just for trade. Five skill points. Yeah, so we're not going to get a whole bunch, but if we do this in like every little area, we'll get a significant amount. We want all the dates we can get. We want beer was else Ooh. we're actually low on cheese they have cheese not really we're gonna grab the hardwood because we're gonna constantly be burning through it and that's fine for now what are we looking like in tribesmen and all that good stuff plenty of arrows good plenty of tribesmen pl okay good this i'm yes i'm glad that we decided we're gonna just sit here and do this because this is going to help us in the long run do no I want to be positive regardless of how this goes so and now we're just gonna wait to get stamina back but yeah no like small indie dev teams or get early access games in general when developers or whatever are actually engaging with their community it says a hell of a lot more to me as it should but Sometimes you don't see it, or like you'll sit there and say, "Well, these are my issues with it," and they're like, "Yeah, that's great," and that's the extent of it. Like they they acknowledge that you you have your issues, but they don't care. Is that it happens quite often too? And it's like, oh well, okay, well you tried, I guess. You attempted to converse with them, and they don't care. I actually want to keep one. Yeah, one hardwood, just because we're going to make that spear for my sister. Just melt all these down. Or as many as we can. Which isn't going to be all of them, but it's going to be a decent amount. And can you make... You can. We're going to make some of this. Some, he says. And we make as much as we possibly can. Um... And there. Now. 
Sis can't do anything. So I'm not going to make anything crazy. We're just going to make two of these. What did we unlock? Where is it? It's this thing. Okay. This is just to soak up the rest of the money. And that's about it. And we're going to do some more smithing here in a second. Crown Guard. Hey, we're, we're unlocking things. Things are happening. I want to make her a spear. Let me do that before we do anything else. I want her to have a good spear. And it's going to come down mostly to the shaft. It's probably going to be this. How long is that? We want a little fairly long with decent damage, good handling, all the stats. This will do. It's everything it needs to be. Do we want to add anything here? It could make it longer. Doesn't hurt the damage. It's really hard to hurt um, piercing damage anyway. But, yeah. Okay, so we need two fine steel. Let's just do that real quick. Okay. And blue. Sister has a good spear. Let's just toss that to her now. Uh, yes, this will be fine. Let's swap these real quick. There we go. So, yeah. So, she's Calvary. Already. Isn't this Sturgeon stuff? It looks like it is. And, yeah, she has the North Shield and everything. Huh. That's a little weird. We'll get her equipment set up when we head back to the Celtic place, but... No, yeah, she's good for now. We're not going to be really doing any fighting. Her equipment doesn't really matter, but it would be nice if little sis actually had good stuff. Nice, not required, but it would be nice. Right, we're done with her. Well, I, I'm sitting there, I like, can we do something else for her? No, 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 just ignore it for now. I'm actually going to pay? Ooh. We have so many traps. <laughs> we in there. Okay, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll pay. It's fine. Uh, you thought this is a slow playthrough. Oh, man, Kenshi is going to be really slow. I want to do that vanilla, too. I don't really want to mod it. Um, We could. and Well, Kenshi doesn't really need to be modded. That's, that's, that's my thing. Um... There are some games where you just have to mod it, because you just have to mod it. And not that it desperately needs to be modded, but there are certain games where they are mediocre at first, and then when you mod it, then it becomes really fun, stuff like that. That is not a great sign to me. While, yes games could be really interesting like that like like oh well it's it's a so-so game but once you mod it it's amazing like that exists um and honestly i feel like rimworld hits that for me anyway is that oh it's a great game i guess the moment you start modding it is when it gets a lot of becomes really really fun that's not the best sign to me um you want a game by itself that stands strong, and once you start to mod it, is when it starts getting super just crazy to boost its longevity. Not to say RimWorld is absolutely terrible, but I have so many issues with RimWorld initially, with how it plays and how things work. It's kind of insane. And, like, it's one of those things where people will argue with me 24-7, but I just don't care. It's like, no, this just this irritates the hell out of me. One of the biggest things is just how delicate uh, the people in that game are. There's, uh, like, one of the last DLC they came out with for RimWorld, which is Ideology, that changed the game for the better so much it's not even funny 
it is crazy how much better that makes the game just because it addresses so many of the issues that the base game has with the the psychology of the pawns it is absurd how much it affects the game because they there's just certain things that they are just so pathetic and so worthless and it's just like yes it can make the game more challenging but the idea is like hey it's a simulation and it's like do you really think human beings are that weak mentally like it it's absurd i think one of the biggest things that still pisses me off to this day is i ate the ate food off the ground and they'll get a meal and and because they didn't sit down at a table they ate it off the ground you could stand up and hold your tray, stupid. Like, you know, it's stuff like that. And it just drives me up a wall. And it's like, do you really feel like humans are just that pathetic? Like, granted, yes, there are dumb people that exist and all sorts of stuff like that. But, like, do you think our species is just that that crippled and that sensitive it blows my mind and there's just mechanics with how the game works that actively fight against you because of stuff like that like the game raids you constantly because it needs to be challenging it guesses i guess whatever so it has to constantly throw um enemies at you and all this other crap and then you know so you kill them because combat's brain dead and setting up efficient ways to fight things is brain dead. And then, like, the bodies of the enemies are all over the place. And you have to bury each individual one. And that takes up space on your very limited area. And then it's like, oh, well, these rotten bodies. and did it, did it. You can't just throw them in a pile and burn them. Because that would make too much sense. No. No, they each need an individual grave. I hate that shit. I hate it. It is so infuriating. Uh, the other game I was talking about earlier, Noble Fates, it does something similar. Where there will be bodies and you need to bury them. But see, they don't care if there's bodies on the ground unless it's your people. If it's the people raiding you, they don't give a shit. They don't care. It's like, yeah, that asshole, they attacked us. And then they'll just, the corpse is just there. They don't give a fuck. The only time they care about, well, that person wasn't buried, is when it's on your own. And that makes sense. Because, oh, Jim died and we didn't bury him properly. That's fucked up. Like, I get that. That makes so much more sense than, than you have to bury each individual. It, it's so infuriating. And there's no way to, like I said, just make a big old corpse pile of all the enemies or burn them or whatever. You just can't do it because you just can't do it. But the game's going to punish you for not doing it. It's so infuriating. I hate that shit in those kind of games. Things that they that were put in the game, I feel, just to make it harder. Because fuck you. I can't stand it. Um, something me and my friends... We, we have long since stated... Because we'll play, like, harder games or things that are supposed to be hard. Uh, we'll go ahead and say Dark Souls and Souls games in general. They're not hard, but, you know, the the, the um, consensus is that, oh, man, these are really hard, difficult games. They're not. They're not in the slightest. Uh, the, the difficulty curve of every single Souls game is knowing enemy placements and how to dispatch enemies. It's, it's not... It's not hard in any sense of the word. It's just, you, you gotta get used to the game. And it's not even a matter of getting good. Because that's, that's, that's a, oh, you gotta get good. No. Not really. Not at all. You have to play the game and have some experience. You don't have to get good. My biggest example of that is, is the whole rolling bullshit. And, uh, you shouldn't use a shield. You should learn how to get good and roll. Yeah, you should get good by pressing a button that makes you invincible through all fucking damage for the time period of which you pushed it. Oh, yeah, man, that skill. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Um, but, like, no, like, we'll play these games. They're supposed to be difficult roguelikes and all this other shit. 
And it's a thing with me in particular. I hate artificial difficulty. I hate it. I like difficulty where there's a skill floor or a skill ceiling. I like that. But if the game is hard because dumb bullshit, like we slap the controller out of your hand, or um, the enemy is just stronger than you because they have bigger numbers, inflated numbers and enemy, like, spawns to make the game super hard, that just pisses me off. Because you're not making the game more engaging or difficult, you're just inflating numbers. Woo. Like, oh man, you know what would be really hard? Instead of lifting a dumbbell that is 30 pounds, lifting a dumbbell that's 500 pounds. Yeah, no shit, it's harder. You just made the number hot. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. And I hate that in video games. And the other thing that I hate, and it's very common in roguelikes and games of that nature, is tedium being quote difficulty oh it's really hard because you have to do every individual thing and did it did it and it, that's not hard it's just tedious tedium is not difficulty it's tedium good, good good job you made your game more boring to make it more difficult wonderful like that isn't good design to me in the slightest like oh it's 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 super tedious so you have to really sit there to to and, and yada yada and that makes it so much more engaging. No, it fucking doesn't. It makes it more boring. That's all there is to it. Tedium is not difficulty. Fuck off with that. If you think tedium is difficulty, you need to figure out what difficulty actually is. Like difficulty should be nothing but uh skill related or skill floor or not even necessarily skill, but, like, I want to say, like, almost like an intelligence requirement. Something that, that it, it, to even understand what's going on, you have to know what the fuck or be able to figure things out. I accept that as well. And there's quite a few games that are like that. Like, you look at it and you're like, okay, what is this? And it's just the most random shit, and you can't, like, before you start playing the game, it, it looks like you're playing an Excel spreadsheet or something. Or, it's just super, like, those games, like, yes, I can consider that proper difficulty, if it's not tedious for no fucking reason. Because if it, like I said, if, if you just make the game tedious just to make the game tedious, that's not difficulty. That's just tedium. Are we? Once again, I just want him to get steward. We can get his charisma really high. I'm par I'm perfectly fine with this. So he his steward isn't great, but he's got a lot of charm. So that's good. But just yeah, no, T tedium isn't difficulty. The game being difficult or just a pain in the ass to play. It, it, like, it can act as gatekeeping, yeah, and that's great, I guess, but it doesn't necessarily mean, like, oh, yeah, no, this is a really skilled game. Like, you shouldn't, the, 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 pri like, the reason to play the game or feel good about playing the game shouldn't be the fact that I put up with so much bullshit to play this game, I'm cool. That's stupid. And it's present in quite a few games. In all honesty, there are a lot of games that are like that. And it's like, oh yeah, no, this game's just super hard and difficult to understand. And that is the privilege of, you feel so cool because you actually know how to do the thing. That's stupid. Being able to do the thing shouldn't necessarily be the reason to play the game. Because then nobody's going to play it. And that's all there is to it. And there are, like, there are some games where... Getting into it is difficult, and once you do, it is a lot of fun. And because we're on it, I'll, I'll just throw Dwarf Fortress out there. Because at first, looking at it, Dwarf Fortress is um, intimidating, <laughs> to say the least. Or uh, what have you, and you're like, eh, I don't know if I want to uh, get all the way up in this one. This one, you know what I mean? Like, it, it looks intimidating. 
but it's really not. And if you just get a little bit into it and you take, I think you have to spend, Dwarf Fortress maybe takes an hour, hour or two to get a decent idea of what the hell you're doing. Which, in all honesty, in a little sim uh, uh, world or, or city builder or what have you, that's not that bad. Because uh, those are long games anyway, and they have a lot of long, st they have very long stay time, very high uh, replayability. It's one of those things where when you feel like it, you just start a new save. So the investment to learn how to play being an hour or two isn't bad and of course you'll learn more tips and tricks and how to do things as you go but the initial just push to to figure out okay what what is this is about an hour uh or two and you have a decent grasp of just what's going on in that game but like I said, in all honesty if you want to make something prolific well-known, and an overall high-quality game, making it borderline impossible to play for the sake of, oh, well, it just means you have to be better. Like, that? No, fuck off. Like, you can have a game that's difficult, but be very easy to grasp. It's not too hard. A lot of old fucking arcade games are the best example of that. Because a lot of the older games from, like, we'll say 80s, 90s, stuff like that, a lot of those games are just way harder. And not necessarily because they wanted them to be that hard, but due to just, you know, uh, limitations of how those games work, they are just very difficult, or what have you. But they can be very, very enjoyable games, regardless. Like, I think... One of the more notorious, like, SNES games, or not SNES, um, NES games, is um, Silver Surfer, which, I mean, I think quite a few people that, that, that like video game stuff or watch vi video game videos and all that stuff know a thing or two about the Silver Surfer NES game, because, uh, you know... There was an angry video game nerd video on it. And that game, I think, is one of the best examples of, yeah, it's hard, but it's fun. <laughs> At least for me, I enjoy playing that game on occasion. And it's not too bad. It is actually very Souls-like in the sense that the difficulty of the game is your inexperience with it. Not necessarily the game. Uh, once you know the levels and how they work and all that good stuff, that game becomes very easy. Or not necessarily easy, but manageable. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it's not something you can sleep through, but you can play it. Because there is a specific rhyme and reason for each area and what have you. Like... There is there is a path through every level that if you take this path, this is the optimal path, you know what I mean? It's one of those things. And you have to play the game a bunch and, like, each level to really get an idea of, okay, so there's going to be three guys that spawn here and they're going to come up from the top and I'm going to have to blast them with this. If I go down now, I can grab the power up here. And, and my, on the side, there's going to be four enemies that fly in. They're going to have a zigzag path. It's that kind of shit. The moment you know it, you can do it. And you just have to sit there and learn it. It is step-by-step step formulating your plan. Like, it's you can do it. And the biggest problem with that, when it comes to a lot of people, is they don't have the patience to sit there and figure it the fuck out. <laughs> Which is where a lot of, quote, this difficulty in Souls games comes from. It's not necessarily that 
the game is difficult to do, and what you have to do is a monumental task. There are there are mo there are exceptions to this, obviously. But once you know what the hell, like okay, so there's gonna be three of these motherfuckers jumping down. This guy always rushes, like you know what I mean. Once you know how the level plays out or the encounter plays out, and you react accordingly, it's it is just. Uh, you go through the motions and you get it done, and that's all there is to it. We're actually almost over capacity just by all the stuff that we have. Dear Lord, I kind of want to soak up a little bit more money from them. I don't need to. It's just they have money and I want it. <laughs> I don't need to in the slightest. Can I grab? I can grab those and then. Can I do this perfect? No, they're still gonna have. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see. I think we're done trading the mules. We are. I want to keep uh, 150 on me. How is my sister looking? How are these parties looking? They're done. Excellent. And she is. She needs one more level, and that will get her her final focus point there. I think what we'll do is we'll get focus points for her in... How do I want to do this? She is cavalry. I think we'll put two into polearm, and then one in scouting, leadership, and medicine. I think that will cover it. Because the only reason we're putting smishing points into the, the, to smithing is because this just levels her up. So, the quicker it le she levels, the better. And Stuart's done. We put, yeah, put two in the polearm, keep it there, have two here, two there, two there. And then she can be like a commander. And she'll grow properly. Unlike my brother, who's a fucking idiot. Who has actually, absolutely no growth now because of his stat spreads sheet, and there's not much I can do about that. If I properly allocated his attribute points and focus points so those numbers were not red, yeah, he, he'd be able to level, because they, they, there is a way to, to do that, but then he'd have low endurance, and he wouldn't be able to do the smithing thing that he needed to do, so that's all there is to that. <laughs> Besides, fuck my brother. He's good enough already. He doesn't need to be amazing. Uh, I should keep an eye on, on, on people in the taverns. I haven't been doing that. What do we have here? We can get more mules. <laughs> we can get more mules. We can do that. That is certainly a thing. Uh, all the tribesmen. All the javelins. We are over capacity, dear lord. All the arrows... We are over capacity. How are we doing this? Can I just... That barely touches it. I need to get them out of my inventory anyway, but that barely touches it. Dear Lord. Yeah, a mouth... Eye is definitely bigger than my stomach when it comes to the food here. I don't think we can do 300 on everything. We can't. Dear Lord. Okay. Um, how much of these can I grab before the number just starts to skyrocket and my speed plummets completely? I'm cool with two. I don't want to go further slower than that because we're in the desert and it would take even longer. We grabbed all that, we grabbed all that. Yes, let's sell this all off. We can actually buy it all. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Wait, did I I don't even I didn't even Okay, no, we don't have any stamina. Okay. We really need to just melt all the things down that we have in our inventory, they're weighing us down. Oh, she leveled up. Well, her smithing is now done. All the focus points on it. 
She just needs uh, four more endurance points. Which, honestly, I don't think she might even get. She doesn't necessarily need it. It would just be ideal. Okay, how are we looking here? We are looking fine. That's what we're looking like. Ooh, how are we doing this? We're gonna take care of most of these. That's good. And then all these. We'll have him make charcoal. In a moment, you need to melt things down for charcoal. Oh boy. <laughs> you know you're really, really pushing it. Okay. Okay. And... There we go. Let's just make these. Level 100 smithing. Okay. Melt things down. What did we unlock? Anything interesting? I want a new glaive head really bad, but... Oh well. We'll get it when we get it. We already made these, didn't we? We want a high stack amount. To make these like really good. That's how you get more money from these. That and damage. We don't have the right head. I think it's like this. Yeah, you get that. And then. This. If you got that, this would sell for a lot. But we need those two pieces. We still haven't got anything new in terms of two handers? No, not at all. Where are we? There. Uh, that's not needed, we'll do that. Yeah. That's A-OK. -okay. And they probably have no money. They do not. And we have all that. And they have nothing else for us to take for the most part. Yeah, no. And we're good on all those resources. So we're just going to move to the next place. <laughs> yep. Oh, look how slow we are. This is going to take a minute. It's fine. Once we get to the um, South Empire, we'll head back to... Uh, Celtic area. We'll grab the troops that we can, level them up, and wherever my sister is in terms of her skills, we'll just accept it at that point. Uh, get her a retinue of men. I can probably just give her uh, good troops from the gate and send her on her way, because I believe we're going to have another party. We can. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Do the mules go for anything here? They do. So we'll do this till it's at 60. Almost there. There we go. Do that. Do you have hardwood? We'll grab that. I don't want to touch food anymore. I think we're good. I'll grab the cheese. Just so it's at 200. And... Two of those. We can go to the things that we're buying. Arrows. Tribesmen. Javelins. Sell everything off. That's good enough. Wait up, do some smithing, and move on. Oh, this. 
Told you it's gonna be like a domestic episode, and that's all there is to it. Eh, we could wait a little longer. It's fine. Give me time to bitch about more stupid stuff. I don't need to bitch about. <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just zoning at the moment and, and just enjoying my time. Oh boy, we have so many, so many tribes. Left. I'm happy. This is this is what I've been wanting to just have set up for a minute now. Uh, we'll have you make charcoal. Excellent. And melt these down. Have her melt some down. About there. No, two more. Okay. You. Excellent. Make as many as we can. down. Okay. They probably have no money. They have enough. We can sell off one. One whole sword. Move to the next place. And we officially have just a mill sitting on in our, in our inventory. Because of reasons. If I had the trade level, I could just buy a castle right now and we'd have a kingdom. Unfortunately, you have to damn near max out the trade skill for that. Because reasons. And getting trade up is the biggest, is one of the biggest pains in the ass. It's one of the slowest skills to get up. Because you just have to sit there and constantly do it over and over and over again. And slowly... There's a lot of grind in this game. <laughs> There's way more grind in this game than there should, but oh well. That's just, that's just the nature of the game. You have a bunch of mules, don't you? Yeah, you do, so we're not going to be able to sell them off. I don't even want to buy your... St I do. I can't say no to it. I'm sorry. This is levels later. It's all there is to it. It's levels later, and I can't... I just can't. I can't leave it. I'm not going to worry about food. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> They're all... Yes, they are. <laughs> I had to check. Okay, this is good. We have such a good amount of surplus just for troops. This is perfect. And, like, we won't have to worry about... Oh, well, we just got a whole bunch of guys. Time to, to spend an hour going from place to place to to level them. No, we already took care of that. We've been sitting on that. That's, 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 that makes me happy. A little bit longer. She's almost 150. She's getting there. Okay. Now. Have you melt these down? As many as you can. Okay, kind of want him to melt some down because these do give a bit more experience than making charcoal, and he is still really low level wise. Okay, now she could make the good steel now. So we'll do that and let her make the really good swords. Do I have it saved? It doesn't matter. It's it's everything but the blade is the same. So we'll just do that. We unlocked a handle of some or pommel of some sort. Top pommel? I don't think that's good. I think that's a piece of shit. And it's decent. But it's not great. We almost have the max smithing perk. We're almost there. Melt one of these down. Slot the blade out. A 
Unlocked a javelin head. That's neat. Anything else? No. I don't think they have any money. They, they have enough to... We can sell one. Ooh, we're getting to the point where they're worth 400, uh, 40k now. Excellent. <laughs> did she? She didn't level, did she? No. She's got a focus point. She did level. Okay. Yeah, so we put in Bull Arm. I think we're done with the South for now. Yeah, no, this is the last place. Because now we're going to be in Southern Empire territory. We have so many tribesmen and stuff now that I'm not going to bother um, melting them down consistently. It's, it's going to be, we take care of it as we take care of it. Because it would take like an hour just to do that with all the tribesmen that we have. Because we have like 700 or something, right? We have like 600, yeah, we have a lot. Uh, horses. These go... F <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we just put them all in there. Yeah, we can. Now we gotta figure out what we're doing with our inventory here. Let's do 250 on stuff. Just to... Reduce our overall carry capacity here. We spent a bunch of money on all the different things, but it's fine. We're still 5,000 over. Dear Lord. It's mostly because of these, isn't it? It's mostly because of the arrows and all that good stuff. It's fine. That will balance out eventually. Do I want to wait here? Oh, I don't know. It wouldn't hurt. That's for sure. And... Let's not. Let's just go to the next place. We'll just hit places up as we're heading back to our home territory. And sell off what we can and all that good stuff. I don't think I'm going to buy up any more stuff because we're just, we're, we're good. We're fine. We're over carry capacity. We're, we're perfectly fine in terms of uh, the resources that we have. We're also still hurting, but let me sit here for a second. So that is 88 and see 114 and then it'd be 138 horses so if we get the troops that we're missing we'll be fine there just sell those two off do you wanna no we don't we're we're overloaded as is I'm not even going to bother with the smithing thing. I think we're just going to head back now. And grab up the troops that we need. We're about done for the day anyway. Yeah, so... No, this entire... Can I already... Can, yeah, thank you. Like I said, this entire episode, we're going to just sit in the south and do blacksmithing and stuff. Yeah, that's what we did. We'll get back to the flight in next episode. She's almost almost at 125 with Stuart. So no, she she came a very long way in a very short amount of time. And like I said, when it comes to her having a party, one of the biggest to fight is her, one of the biggest things is just going to be how high, how what level is her steward? How good is it? Because that's just going to mean that's how big her 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 uh, retinue of men is going to be is what's her story. And if she gets it to the point where she's close to Big Bro, perfectly fine. Like, she's 25 off from 
being where he is. Uh, give me hands. That's, that's, yes. I don't know if that perk's really good for CPUs. Probably isn't. But, hey, it's a good perk. Screw it. We'll just say that it is. Now, we have 35. So, we want 70 and 70. Okay. So, right now, we need 21 archers. And then we need 24 melees. Let's go knock that out. That's most of it. <laughs> oh, it's not most of it, but it's a good amount. Okay. This should not take that long, because I think it's been rather peaceful up here for the time being. Fun stuff, I know. Eh? What? Oh, I didn't actually click on Okay. <laughs> Fred's like, wait, what the hell is going on? Okay, so archers are almost already done. Because we needed, what, 21? We just got 16. Yeah, so we need five more. I think that's going to put us right at our troop capacity, too. We don't even have the... Yeah, we don't. We, we're we we're unable to do one more dude. We need to do one more dude for that to be the case. Oh, well, it's fine. Who knows? By the time we, we find the next thing of our truths, my, my little sis might get the, the steward level to be able to do that. Maybe. I think that was it. That that had to have been it for for. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. Still, just cannot find. Hmm. We need. Yeah, no. Wait, it says we only need. Is it counting one of my people as a as a ranger? That might be the case. Let me just do this for the the sake of. My OCD. Okay, so that's 50. Yeah, so 50... 63, 66. We need four. Huh. I mean... No, I wanna... Yeah, no, we do only need... Okay. Okay, so we'll have trust enough. Yeah, cool. Perfect. And I don't know which. I I think this one would be closer. We'd have to go around it, but it, it, whatever. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Now, where are we here? Dear Lord, you actually can't. You know, what? we'll just hold on to them. We don't need the money right now. We'll just hold on to them for the moment we need it. Um. How much experience overall do they need? 25. So, there. That's probably not all of them, because the game is good. It's not. Well, it's all the archers, with the exception of these ones. So, we'll put these guys there. That's fine. Okay. 3,000. One more. There we go. Go ahead and just level you up. And that wasn't all of them, because the game's good. It was most of them, but it wasn't all of them. Okay. them all right now. Okay, 5,000. Oh, no, that was exactly what we needed. Okay, good. Good. And 
man, this is going to take a lot. How much is it going to take? 35. Oh, car. He's going to do that, because we have so many of these. And that is 70 Elite Archers. <laughs> or, oh, this is almost just the game done. Really. It's really creepy. Like, not creepy. It's, 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 it's really scary. That's the, that's, that's the word I want. That, it's, we're almost there. Because, like I said, if you get 100, 120, and, and 50, you're done. You are just done. Nobody fights for fucking, nobody can touch you for the most part, unless it's just a massive army and everyone else in your army sucks. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just give her her own uh, group of boys right now. So. Let the game save. There we go, thank you. Uh, how many people do you have? You don't have, I'll just give her mine. I'll, it's fine. I'm cool with my little sister. She's not as annoying as my my uh, older brother. She's actually kind of cool. So we will just give her 70. And there we go. Now then. We need 40. And we'll just be able to do it makes me feel good inside. Her with, with 17 old sworn, that should be enough to, to fend off any looters and let her build up her, her stuff. And honestly, when it comes to these guys, I'm just going to recruit them until I can't recruit anymore. Because... Having some extra infantry never hurts. They're typically the ones you're going to lose the most anyway. So, having some spares, even though it makes the numbers not perfect, it's fine. So once this is all set up, we have 70, 70, 35. I think that's going to be the episode. This works. Definitely running out of time here. <laughs> I've enjoyed my time. It's been nice not losing my shit over dumb stuff in the game and just being able to relax. Oh lord. I'm actually having difficulty recruiting people. There's not that many soldiers around lying around. Curious. Oh well. make with what you can get. You make do. Really nickeling diamond me here, but it's fine. There's like a massive recruitment drive that happened on recently or something. That's why there's just no troops anywhere. Okay. Eee. Look at that number. It's <laughs> we're getting there. We're, we're fairly intimidating just by existing. Almost there. They're not going to have what I want, are they? No. I'll just grab the recruit. It's fine. Head into Senon, see if we can grab some people there, and then, yeah. Probably dump off most of the arrows and stuff that we have just to level these boys, but it's fine. We should have some left over. Is that? Yep. Yeah. You know what? I think that's good. I am fine with that. We're over anyway, so it doesn't matter. That number isn't clean, but we're just going to put up with it for now. Now then. Just do that. 19. 
Where, 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 where are we? It's gonna be most of them. <laughs> or no, it's not gonna be most of them. It's not gonna be that many of them at all, actually. I don't know why I said it's gonna be most of them. It's, it's nowhere near. That's fine. Did everyone actually level or no? Just about. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. That's the nice thing. We have so many spare weapons to toss at them that we can actually just do the thing with the sliding bar. Just to really get it done quick. There's one in there. Son of a... <laughs> There's one guy in there that isn't leveled. What a punk. Just to slow everything down. Okay. Boom. Alright. And... Yeah, now our carry capacity is fine. I figured most of the weight was just due to all the extra that we had on us. Hmm? I think that's it exactly. That is it exactly. <laughs> there you go. Cool. And that. And it's going to cost quite a few. Yeah. Can we get the rest of these out? No, it doesn't need all of them. I only needed a few. I'll just do the jab one, because I know they're like 75 experience or something like that. And there. You have two extra. That's fine. That is a potent party. It's that this this party is gonna have little to no difficulty determining who's winning what. Cause to one, the numbers are just too big. Two, everyone's very, very good. She only needs fifty more. We have some real umph. I didn't. I want. No, I want, um, is it, we'll do this, and then this. This is what I want. We are very rich, and we have almost a thousand clan strength. That's good. Okay. We've arrived to a degree. Let me look at, like, you. We are almost comparable to the King's Clan in our strength. That's pretty fucking good. Now I could end it here, and I probably should, but I want to look at those castles that are near um, here. The 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 sturgeon ones. I want I want to take a peek. I want to see what their strength is. Because if it's like 200 something, we we can maybe do it. No. Not at all. That one's a no-go. And it hurts me inside. How about here? That's a maybe. Because remember, militia aren't that good. Hmm. It's 270. It's really far away. But what is this castle? Because if you can get in that area, 
I, I it's one of the things I try to go for is getting uh your your uh like being in the, on this peninsula because this acts like the one of the best um flanks like rear ends that you can have as far as a kingdom is concerned in this game from moving uh into and to push forward. How's Biggs Rebel? Five hundred defenders. Three Damn. Okay, so it's looking like it's gonna be here. Or no. This one. How's this castle? Because this was captured by Validians. And because it was captured, it might have a, a much lower overall count of, of soldiers. They may not have uh, properly garrisoned it. And if that's the case, it'll be easy PC. It's also very, very far um, in terms of uh, the Validians' country. It is very end tip. So we won't have much resistance if we try to grab it. Look at all those looters. A lot of militia, not much garrison. I might be able to do that. How's this look? Isn't that actually lower? It is, isn't it? Because it's only... It's, it's 240. Because there's a party in there. It's actually lower. Hmm. You know what? We're going to pop this group of looters because it's 60 of them. And I feel like it. And that's, this is, this is going to be the last thing that we do. So, yeah. No, it's quite possible. We're starting a war with Validia. Or Valandia. Or whatever. We're going to start a war with the Red. Uh, next episode. And go from there. No, the, 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 the only battle of this episode is going to be against some stupid looters. But hey, there's 60 of them, so it should be fun. I might be able to do some dumb stuff. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be able to do some dumb stuff. It's looters. <laughs> I, I, I can completely throw caution to the wind and give absolutely no fucks. It's fine. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That makes me happy. My party is so big that we are having an engagement with looters and not all units can take the field. How wonderful is that? <laughs> Uh, so I have the unit limit very, very low. It's it's uh, 200, which is, I think, the lowest it can go. Because, yeah, that and I'd rather be able to play the game than play it with like as many soldiers as we can possibly have, obviously. Oh, God, but that's something. We, we're, we have arrived to the point where my party is, is pushing the limits of units. And I'm literally gonna sit here and pester them until I'm out of arrows. I told you, you get really good at this after a while. You get the levels up. You, 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 you are quite significant, or sufficient, at doing the whole mounted archer thing. You just have to get the levels first. And that takes so long. Because it takes so long. Because this game likes to be a grind fest. That's the best I can aim at yeah, going full speed, unfortunately. It'll get better. They actually got my horse pretty bad with that. Okay. I don't want to do an overhead game. Oh 
no, it's still blue. Yeah. I'm getting screwed over by hit stun. Let me, uh... Yeah, you guys, do, do what you need to do. It's fine. The moment you have to turn around or whatever, you're just screwed. In terms of keeping the kill spree going. Because the horses just take forever to, to turn and stuff. No. There we go. And I think this is like the last one. There's one more. There it is. He's still throwing shit. <laughs> he was actually trying to throw a rock. What a lad. Ah, uh, 40 men killed because they're just looter. <laughs> That's about right. That's about right. I kill 40 men. I don't even want to take prisoners. It's fine. Wait, no, we, we're we just taking everything. Yeah. I was like sitting there like, oh, yeah, time to dish out the experience. Oh, no, right, everyone's maxed out. <laughs> and I actually got a, a, a perk point in riding, I think. <laughs> so stupid. Absolutely brainless. Uh, all right. Oh, I got two perk points. Ooh, Skirmish Phase Master is really good. This is just so good. It's one of the best perks you can get. I got... Ooh. Um... Uh, footwork is better for a team, but I want Hard Knock. And what do we get here? Range damage well mounted. <sighs> Range damage is better for me. But mounted warrior would be better for the party. But I'm not the captain. So we're going to go with horse archer. And if I ever get horse archers in my formation, I'm going to be leading them. So... Like, I'm not the cal leader of the cavalry. We we got the, the Asari guy, I believe, doing that. Yeah, this dude, I think, is our cavalry leader. He's actually really close to actually getting Mountain Warrior, too, so it's fine. Um, yeah, no, look at this. We're, we're coming along. And then two more levels will be on full difficulty. That's fun. Uh, we want this. Ugh. That's what, 250, 225. We're getting there. And smithing is almost done. We almost have legendary blacksmith. And this lets you make legendaries. So, once that happens, oh boy, if we can get some legendary uh, equipment on our boy, that would be fantastic. But we still don't have the right glaive head for that. But, anyway, if you stayed here this entire time, I don't know why, but thank you, and I will see you next time.